Corey Chambers with DraftNancy.com. I'm in the Cotton Bowl now at the Southwest State Fair Classic in Dallas, Texas. And it was the Grandma State Tigers versus those Panthers from Prairie View A&M. Nelson has been exploding at wide receiver. The junior back-to-back 100-yard -back receiving games. How would he match up tonight against a Grambling State unit implored to stop him? Another player that was of particular interest to me was Moses Ellis. Yes, last season, Ellis was one of the leaders in FCS play with eight interceptions. But tonight, I thought he struggled quite a bit. Now, he did have a pretty good punt return late in the game where he showed unbelievable ball skills in terms of attacking the ball on the run, something you like to see. From a smaller guy, 5'9", 175 pounds. But one of the things that disappointed me was his inability to be able to open up smoothly when it came time to turn and run. And I think that that showed up on a couple of occasions. And he was going against a receiver in senior Grambling State wideout, Mario Lewis, who was deceptive in his stride lane. And I thought he kind of climbed Ellis on a couple of occasions during the night. In fact, his ability to be able to, to get behind some of the Prairie View A&M defenders showed up all the way through until the end of the game. But in all honesty, I ain't even mad at you. That's just more cold than a locomotive, you feel? I'm playing B, C, and D is just as effective, if not more, than my plan A. Yep, yep. There you they go. Try to knock me out the game, but I'm the best in my position. Listen, haters demonstrating that you ask for my permission. Y'all tripping, but God ain't about that Indian giving what you think you knocking down, man. You only a limit. Tell them why. That's a scare to a Mac truck, boy. And he ain't known that this hell will never slack up. It's DraftNancy.com. We love the bands. We love the fans. And we hope you stay tuned.